is the finished look. You can be creative. You can use whatever color you please. This is a small one. You can have two of this at the window or three or even one depending on the width of your window. So I hope you'll be inspired. You can choose whatever colors you wish to use and um, just make your home beautiful with colors and balances. Just hang it over your existing curtain. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. And this is Sharon again from Everything Beautiful. Hello, good morning. This is Sharon from Everything Beautiful. I'm actually wearing a mask because my house has been painted and I'm trying not to inhale the paint. So I hope you'll be able to hear me clearly. I'm doing a double pleated balance and um, I'm doing it from green and orange. You can use your color of choice. And I realized that the measurements are important to um, whoever but my subscribers or whoever watches my video and so today I would like to give you the measurement of this even though it's a very small one you can make it bigger um, according to your window size and you can also do more than one so the green is actually 45 inches in width 45 inches in width this center from here to the end here that is 13 inches and to the short side which is here that's only for the green it is seven and seven and a half inches okay so I will use the top piece to guide me um to uh cut the the um the bottom piece okay so one is going to be longer than the other so um let me get it um set up properly and then i'll get back to you so here i've used the green to guide me to cut the um the um the orange and um, I've made the orange five and a half inches longer as you can see it it's about five and a quarter there it is five and a quarter inches and at the center here it's just the same there it is five and a quarter inches longer than the green and I've extended here so let me give you the total measurement for the orange so the full width of the orange is 32 and 32 that is 64 and a half that is 65 inches okay so you have half inch for allowance and you can finish the hemline in whatever way you choose to your tassel your fringe your ribbon your bias binding you can add to the edge you can also line them if you so desire okay so that is 65 inches in width and the end here for the orange is about nine and a half inches and the center for the orange is 18 inches okay next step we'll be doing our pleating and you don't have to pleat these together okay so i'm going to um, start the pleating and show you what's next so here we are I have pleated one side and now I'm going to pleat the other side but first um, let me show you so the corners are going to be rounded okay so this is what the corner is going to be looking like both corners are going to be rounded and um, reason for that this is how you want it to look you want the last pleat to form on top of the other and you don't want the corner because if you're adding whatever you're adding your tassel your fringe if it has a corner it's going to be more difficult so it's best to round it off like this okay 
and the same applies to the green okay and you don't have to force to line up the pleats with each other you know so um here we have four pleats four green pleats and we have five um five orange pleats so i will continue pleating the right side and let you see what it's looking like 